Hi everyone and welcome to the Christmas in July giveaway hop. It is a craft collabs event sponsored by Dare to be Artsy and I'm going to tell you more about this hop later in the video but right now let's get started with my project. I'm going to be using a couple of Mod Podge products as well as the Home Decor Texture Chalk Paint in Whisper White and all of these are from Plaid. I'm also upcycling a pie tin that you can get from any frozen pie, such as this Marie Callender's one that I used. I painted the pie tin front and back, and I just gave it a light coat of paint because I wanted that kind of distressed rustic look, but you can paint it a solid white. You can even probably spray paint it to get that look. And then next, I used the Mod Podge Matte to also go over it front and back, but on the inside, I gave it about three coats on the bottom. Okay, now that we have the pie tin all prepped and ready to go, it is time to get the napkin ready. And so I'm gonna get this opened up here, and I'm just gonna cut off a section that I want to use. So actually, maybe I'll just fold it right there and follow the fold. Cut right along this square here. And for what I'm doing, the best size napkin is a regular dinner size napkin and not the small cocktail size napkins. But you could use a small one, it just wouldn't cover up the whole inside. And so the next thing to do is remove those extra layers because you only want the top layer of the napkin. And there are different ways to do it. And one of them was what I just did. I wet my finger <laughs> and put it on the back layer here. And there we go. So let me show you really quick here. So this one happens to have one, two, three layers. We just want the top one. So we're just gonna carefully peel that off. And I'm going to set these other two layers to the side. Might be able to use them for something else. Okay, so to make sure that I get it cut out the right size, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to lay this right on here. And that way I have an idea of the size of the pan. And boy, this just barely fits. It comes right to the edge on either side. So I'm just going to use a water brush. You can use a paint brush and some, you know, water, a wet paintbrush. And I'm just gonna go around the edges and make sure I have some water in there. Go around the edges because instead of cutting this, I like to tear it off. I kind of like the uneven edges. I think it gives it a much softer look than a blunt cut would do. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around this. And then I'm gonna come back because I don't think you wanna sit here and watch me do this all the way around. But all I'm doing, you know, just one more time to let you know, I am just wetting the edges. So, let me get it up here. Here's the edge of the pan and I'm just wetting the edges so that when I tear it off, and I do that very gently, you now you can use your thumbnail, but when I tear it off, I'm only getting that excess off from the edges. So hold on and I'll pull this up for you before I go do the rest of it. So you can see it's only getting off from the edges all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my napkin ready and I'm gonna be placing it right here in the middle and I'm gonna be using my craft iron. This is a Clover craft iron. And what's gonna happen is we had put the three layers of Mod Podge on there and when I iron this on, the Mod Podge is going to kind of melt and adhere the napkin in there. So here's the deal. If you don't have a way to iron this in, you can just use wet Mod Podge and very carefully lay it in there, okay? But, um, I'm not always that good at that, so I'm gonna do it this way and just get it set in there where I want it. 
and get my craft iron here. And I'm just going to start pressing it in there. Going around the edges, making sure everything is in place. It's kind of interesting how this works with the Mod Podge, um, you know, heating up and adhering to the napkin. It's really a cool thing if you don't want any wrinkles. Now, a lot of times I like the wrinkles, so, you know, I will put it on the wet Mod Podge. And like I said, so that's something really easy for you to do. Just put your Mod Podge in there and then carefully lay your napkin on it and that'll work. So I'm going to finish ironing this because right now I'm just kind of going around the edges to make sure everything is in place. But I'm going to go over this whole thing with my iron. And once I am sure that it is adhered completely, I'll be back. Okay, I've got my napkin adhered in there. And before we go on to the next step, just in case you're not familiar with the Clover mini iron that I just used, um, I wanted you to know that I'll put a link below in case you're interested, but it comes with a variety of tips, not just the one that I have on there right now, which I use that because I love the way, it, you know, is rounded for around the corners, but there's this little iron shaped one and a larger iron shaped, this rounded one, and it even comes with one for blades. So if you needed to use hot blades on something to cut something, it does that as well. So it's a pretty amazing little iron here. Once the napkin is adhered, this is the perfect time to spray it with Mod Podge sealer to protect it. Okay, anyone that knows me knows I hate using a hot glue gun, but that is exactly what I'm going to be using today. And I've got some of this, it's a piece of garland, Christmas tree garland stuff, and I just cut off a piece of it. And this is something I picked up at the dollar store. Um, last Christmas, I've actually cut off one of the pieces because this is going to be, you know, too big. And I am going to be gluing those and a bow on to this. So I'm not going to be going all the way around. I thought about it, trust me, I actually cut a piece to go all the way around this. And for my taste, I actually didn't like it once I sat it on there. So I'm not. I'm just going to do part of it. So let's get started. Well, you watch me put this together. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this collaboration hop. It starts today, July 25th, and goes through Friday, July 31st, 2020. And there are 14 of us in this collaboration, and we're here to inspire you with a variety of Christmas projects, and I'm sure you're going to love every one of them. And also, Dare to Be Artsy is giving away a $20 Dare to Be Artsy gift certificate to one lucky winner. And this giveaway happens to be open internationally, so everyone has a chance to win. And all you need to do to be entered is to leave a comment on each of the hot videos between now and July 31st, which is just a week away. And to make it easy to find the next person in the lineup, I have put a link at the top of my description box below the video so you can't miss it. And also in the description box, you're going to be able to find all of the hop details, including links to everyone in the lineup. I really love the idea of Christmas in July. In fact, I love the idea of Christmas all year long. But this is a great way of getting some Christmas projects started early. Sometimes for me, Christmas sneaks up on me and I am not prepared and then it just seems like I have so much to do. So this is helpful. I got everything hot glued on and the only thing left to do is to put the hook on the back, which I'm doing with a paper clip, which I've done before. And I have already marked right here on the back where I want to put it. And so I'm going to do that with the hot glue gun and usually I don't do the hot glue gun. So <laughs> let's just put this right here. Hope I actually have that in the right spot. I can kind of tell there's the bow on the 
bottom so that should be just about right and wow it's already in there I was thinking about putting the hook down a little bit lower but oops sorry off camera okay <laughs> there we go I've got the uh, hook put on the back there and it's ready to hang I'm gonna go hang it on the wall and I will take some pictures for you Okay, so not all plans turn out perfect. I have made these pie tin um, wall hangings before with flowers on one side and it always works out just fine. But I guess these decorations were just a little bit heavier than I normally use, so it kind of hung a little sideways. So I added a little bit more to this side and actually I think it looks pretty good. Let me go take some pictures now and I'll show you. Thank you all for hopping along with us. I hope you like my project today. And don't forget the link to the next person in the lineup is below in the description box. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.